Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the art of storytelling. Now, I am going to attempt to... These are comments that you made on one of our TikToks that I ask you to give me words. So I'm going to look over here. I'm going to pick out one set of words. And then I'm going to take this cardstock that's photo paper. I'm going to divide it into eight. Divide it in half and half. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to divide it in eight. And I'm going to paint my story as I'm making it up. So there's a whole lot of great ideas on here. I love all of them. I don't understand this one. Deep sorrow traders. I, I have never heard that expression. I don't know what it is. Um, um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I think it's someone who betrays someone and they're sorry about it. I think it's literally what it's saying. I don't think it's Deep something sorrow traitor. specific. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's just my okay. assumption. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do this. You look for words. Look for words on here. Um, you send them pop up. Look, we're gonna have a pot on this with us. Look. Mm. I invited Pa to go live. Do you think he'll be able to do it? <laughs> what what words do you I say? I like the cat that likes to make biscuits with murder muffins. <laughs> murder murder mittens. mittens. Okay, that's that the one. one that's so the cute. one it will be. Oh my god! Uh, I know we have to have a highlightish marker of some kind. What is this over color? I'm Magic not sure. Movie. That's like my old. Like, old yeah. Thing. Martin, are you here? Yeah. I don't see you. He's not playing well. Yeah, it's only audio, it says. Oh. oh. Okay, and I'm hearing the echo back on you. No, I, I don't you. know what to do about that. Okay. We're going to go with this one first. So, honey, what I'm doing right now is, um, Martin, have you ever read any of my screenplays? I've never seen any of your screenplays. My scripts are all back in your tool room on that shelf. I don't know where they are. Okay. Um, so, we're going to start off with this one. The cat who likes... To make biscuits <laughs> with murder mittens. <laughs> That's our story. That is our story. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I can turn my volume down, right, Maggie, so it won't hear me. Will that work? Well, then you won't hear him. Oh, yeah, then I won't hear him. Martin, you gotta get a different phone. I don't see what difference that would make. It's just because his volume's up, I think, and you can hear it playing on his phone. I invited you to turn on your camera, honey. Might be easier that way. Okay, I don't know how to do that, babe. Honey, just can you exit? I'm so sorry and just rejoin. I'm sorry. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little painting here with the alcohol inks. We have our subject. I'm gonna paint out a story. There you go, Martin. I see you now. I don't know how to make it bigger. Morton, Morton, if you can hear me, leave. <laughs> Bye, Morton. Take off. 
beat it. <laughs> we can never get figured out this, Maggie. And I think it's because his phone is so weird. Okay, I'm going to set you down here. So you can watch and see what I'm up to. And I'm going to take... I'm going to put you up a little bit higher. Oh, I can put you up higher here. Yes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Oops, I don't want to zoom in. I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to line out. I'm going to line out approximate. I'm not going to make it perfect. But I'm going to do it in half. And half again. I'm going to make up a little almost like a little cartoon storyboard and um, Maggie and I are up late aren't we babe oh that's the sharpie I don't want the sharpie do you have the art pen what is this a pro? oh the mic on let me go get it no 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 it's okay don't you move I'll play it wow it with this it is the best pen in the world it is I love my phone pens Okay, so we're going one. Oh, this didn't line. Why did you line on there? <laughs> this is ghost paper, Maggie. It's not working. <laughs> I will make a storyboard. I know, but oh, that oh. was the that was the micron pen that wrote on here, not this. Sharpie's not writing on it. It's okay. No, I got no, 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 no. I'll be right oh, back. Maggie's gonna go get it. <laughs> so I'm gonna divide this. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna write a story. Um, I'm gonna write a story, and I'm going to illustrate a story. And the name of the story is The Cat That Likes to Make Biscuits with Murder Mittens. That's one of them. And then I'll make a video. And hi, Brian. Hi, Sarah. Then I will make a video um, showing that. The first thing i got to do is i got to put lines on here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This will work. Hello, hello. And hopefully Morton... We'll jump back in and answer questions and I'm going to be using alcohol inks to paint the first thing I need to do is line this so this this should do it this pen should do it you think this pen's going to do it probably I think it will Weird. And that's why you want the artist pen. <laughs> that's why you want the artist pen, kids. That's why you want it. So I eyeball that in half. I'm going to eyeball this in half. I could measure it, but I'm not a measuring kind of person, am I, Maggie? Me neither. We don't measure. We eyeball it. I could have pressed a little harder on that one, I think. And now I'm going to divide that in half. These are going to be long, skinny storyboards that I think after I do the video, I just had a great idea. After I do the video, babe, and I do all the paintings on here of our little story of um, the cat that likes to make biscuits with murder mittens, <laughs> I think what I'll do is, is do some kind of a contest on there where I cut these apart and send them off to people. Mm -hmm. After I make the video. Well, wouldn't it be an incomplete story then? I'll do the story video and then I'll let people win individual panels. Or maybe I could just reproduce this. Story. Maybe it depends out. how good it comes out. You're right. Now we're talking. Oh, 
Oops. Okay. I got a little wild there. All right. Let's start. Let's start with one, panel one. So the cat that likes to make biscuits with, with murder muffins. Murder, murder mitt. <laughs> Wait. I keep that? thinking muffins because the way you uh -huh. wrote it. But it, it yeah, it's Angelia, cute. Maggie picked your suggestion. It's so cute. It is so cute. I'm going to hold this pen here. I mean, I'm going to hold, just hold you with my camera. And I'm going to put this paper out of our way because that will distract us. We're going to focus on this first one, this first panel. So Maggie and I were watching about the artist residency. We, we want to go. Oh, Angelia says, Maggie, I love you. You made my day. <laughs> oh, Angelia is so sweet. Guess what? She lives in California and she has this vintage kitchen that is crazy. Do you, you don't do Facebook, do you? No. You don't do this. Maggie doesn't mm -hmm. do the social media. I'll show you in the Facebook, Pinterest. in our Facebook group. <laughs> Maggie does Pinterest. Um, in the Facebook group, honey, I'll show you pictures. Her kitchen is so, she has the coolest like stove and sink you have ever seen. Neen would love it. It's totally mid-century modern. How cool is that? Okay, here, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to write the title. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just write it with this, loosely with this. And what are you doing now? It did work. Maybe I'm using the wrong side. <laughs> Let's try it here. I might have to put new lines up. Yeah, maybe this is the side that I do it on. This is the side. The cat. That likes. <laughs> to make biscuits. With. Now here I got to be careful because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm going to put M mittens, right? And I'm going to put a little exclamation point with a little paw print. And I'm going to put here, I think here, honey, I'm going to draw a little skull. little skull there so we know what that is so that's our story here uh, okay now I need to do the lines again on this <laughs> I'm sorry inkjet is water based okay that's good to know Martin hello Martin Maggie pause here we love and miss you all. We were wishing, what were we wishing he was here today for? And I said, I wish Paul yeah. was here. Paul, we stayed in the pool for two, two hours. I played Maggie three movies in the pool. Yep. <laughs> was the first one your favorite? Do you think? I feel like I've heard the first one before. Really? I think you've told it to me before. Because it I felt have. nostalgic. Okay. I was like, hmm. Yeah, I remember but you didn't this. See the plot twist, did no, you? I think I I didn't before you said it, but once you said it, I was like, it Oh yeah, familiar. I knew it was that. It felt familiar. I very well could have told you that. I think you did. You didn't tell me about the other two though. Okay. I, those are brand new. Um, I think the first one is my favorite. I think the first one's my favorite. It's just, it's very, I thought that the second one, the antagonist is a bit too Horrible. stereotypical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are more dimensional than just 
that just bad. that bad. And yeah. same with the first yeah. one, like the bad husband, you know, it was yeah. like. But hey, before I met Paul, do you know how I had a bad husband thing going? <laughs> I had Every a scene single. going. How bad of a husband is he? How bad do you think? <laughs> That's, I'm just joking. Uh, I'm sure I was the issue. <laughs> okay, our first panel, we're going to, we're going to introduce you to the cat in the first panel. That's what's going to happen in here, our kitty cat. So I need your help. I need you to tell me what color should this kitty cat be? Color for the eyes. The, this is my granddaughter. She's fucking fabulous. So put up what you think. Uh, and the funny echo could be the fan. I got the ceiling fan on. I it's Florida. Mm. Does Maggie have her phone volume on? Nope. Maggie does not have social media. A tuxedo I cat. Have social media. Well, you, I mean, you don't <laughs> do a cat. My phone's always on silent. It's yeah. not here anyways. Yeah, Orange I don't have tabby, tuxedo. I don't have blackout. I think the, let's start with the eyes. Let's do his eyes orange and green. And um, let's see where we go from there. <laughs> Weird TikTok glitch. <laughs> and I don't know how far we're going to get with this tonight, um, but we're going to go for the kitty cat size. So this is, um, this is alcohol ink. I'm going to go with one eye, two eyes, with a little bit more. So they match. Oh my gosh, the eyes are already adorable. Look at that, Maggie. <laughs> the eyes are already adorable. <laughs> okay, we're going to need to let this dry. Oh, the one eye is getting big on us. Getting a big eye here. I'm going to paint this. You can totally paint. Have you ever painted with alcohol ink, honey? Yeah, of course I of have. Of course you have. I'm just going to diffuse that a little bit. Just diffuse it a little bit. And keep them nice round circles. I think maybe we just do all, uh, let's just do the face all eyes, right? But then let's put his paws up there with the claws. The paws and claws, so it's not his whole body. So on the cover, we're just gonna are on our first panel. We'll just see. We'll just see this. Now alcohol ink. As soon as it dries, or it dries really fast. It dries as the alcohol evaporates and the pigment is left. And I'm just gonna put some little interesting dupe depths in here. We are up well, pretty late. I was wanting to go to bed earlier, but I didn't. And Kitty Cat's eyes. Do they have like the pupil like, I don't have a pupil like a dragon side. <laughs> I mean, kind of. It's kind of like the, yep. yeah. <laughs> oh, and Zalia's eating peanut butter cups for dessert. That sounds yummy. Okay. So we're going to go with black in the very center when that's dry. But I have a little bit of this color, which is tangerine. And that color that I used, hey, Yo Flippin. Yo Flippin just gave us ice cream, honey. Yo Flippin Mama sent us ice cream. Angelia <laughs> sent a gummy bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Totally, I do. I do that every time. Anyway, every and, when I, <laughs> and when I see it, I'm like, oh, now I want ice cream. I just, I just had a Klondike, didn't I? Mm. Would you like another? Was, oh no, 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 that was good. Okay, here I want to go with just a little bit of the gold. Just a little. Bit. 
Oh, he is naughty. Remember? He does have those. You just want to get a pupil feel. But their eyes, right? A kitty cat, it goes up and down like this, right? For the pupil. I think it does. I think it will on this little man. Kind of lines. Yes. Yeah, like the up and down sort of feel. Right? But then with a big dark pupil. Okay, depending round, depending if they're in the mood, yes. If, oh, depending on their mood. Uh, I got to find black. I don't have black out. Let's find our black alcohol ink. Oh, Maggie, you got quite the selection of alcohol mm -hmm. ink here. I wonder where I got it all. Somebody must hook you up with your art supplies. You must have, like, an amazing patron. <laughs> knows that you're a magnificent artist and you need supplies. Maggie, I wish she could take you back for one day to my childhood and you could see me and my art and <laughs> what I dealt with. Two crayons. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, two crayons, little crayon nubs. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> and, and how cool was it that Neen found that picture that I had made for my older brother? Oh, yeah. Three crowns, maybe that was the yeah. picture. I'm going to go with just a little black here. Boop. Oh. What? Boop. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. move it around. Yeah. Move it around a little bit. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to take from off of the black. I'm going to take some of this and start painting with the alcohol ink. Now, the, the story. I don't really have the story in my mind of what I want to happen yet. The story is going to come to life. Um, when I I want to I want to kind of see if I can do it like with one take. When I video when I get these pictures, I think the pictures are going to help me tell the story. That's looking, the black is looking blue on here. Might want to switch to markers, maybe. Is that black? Yeah. Which black did you use? Right there. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, that's black. Looks purple. It does look purple. It's quite a nice effect. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put in some texture on our little man. Find his little nose down here. And he's going to have a little indifferent face. <laughs> We're a long way from being done. So, <laughs> so stick with us here. I think here I'm going to put these his little paws right here. 
And then we're going to put up his little claws from the paws. Stuff dry. You know what I need to do before I. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so wrong. Uh, I need to let that dry for a minute. <laughs> yes, his little murder mittens. Yeah, I need to let that dry for a minute because I gotta get this paper. I gotta see which if I'm using the wrong side. It is photo paper. Yeah, but I've used photo paper before with my alcohol inks. I'm going to just do some dropping and moving it. I'm going to do some little swatches before I start doing the art. See, I think this side's glossier. It's 100%. I think this is the side that we want to be using right here. I'm going to just experiment. Let's get some of this in here. See how this feels. Yeah, that feels so much better. This side is the side we want to use. That's the side. Are you going to redo the... I might redo it. Okay. I'll just play with this for a minute and see. I'm trying to decide if this should be a bird, a, like a chicken with crazy hairdo. What do you think? Could be a crazy fox. I just want to see how it's drying on this paper. Maybe do a chicken with a crazy hair. What do you think, Mindy? I just want to do a little test and see. I'll just make it a little crazy bird. With alcohol inks, like I know you always see them where people blow flowers, like they're blowing the alcohol inks. That's a super cool technique too. But I love, I do really love to paint with alcohol inks. So let me turn this the right way. So you can see the right way. And I think here I'm going to use this to paint out our chicken chicken I'm gonna take a little bit of black just a little 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 little, little bit of black I'm crazy with the dropper well, Maggie's arting too. 
So I'm going to take this and I'm going to squeeze this right onto here. One little drop. One little, come on, little drop. We're going to go with one little eye, two little eyes. Now I think I'm going to go with little wings. And see how you can paint the texture and you can paint in your feathers. I want to go very textured for these wings. Oh, crazy chicken. If I had chickens, this is how they would be, Maggie. 100%. 100%. This is how my, this is what my chickens would look like. That's what that's what I look like in the morning. So I'm gonna take this, just put a little bit on this again. Come down here, let's put another little chicken wing on. I kind of like that chicken wing better. Which chicken wing do you like better, honey? The one I'm working on or the other? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like the fluffiness. Yeah, I'm going to make this one wispy. Mm -hmm. Wispy. A little wispy, 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 wispy. A little wispy chicky. I'm going to take some of this. This is, um, this is alcohol ink. And tomorrow, babe, if we go anywhere tomorrow, let me to get a camera stand. <laughs> Here's that. Uh, and I think the legs I think the should the legs be black or should they be another color? Purple legs? He's a fantasy chicken. Purple, or how about oh I know. So this was the red orange that we use. Let's use this, the tangerine, for his legs and feet. Let's do that. And I'm just gonna do Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Best when you make the noise, isn't it, Maggie? Chop the legs up a little bit. There we go. This is like a little rock and roll chicken. I have black on here. I'm just going to coax some little shapes down here that I want. Yes, his feet kind of look like duck's feet now. <laughs> but just by mixing a little bit of that black in there, that looks pretty with that. Let's make some little chicken. Let's make those chicken spurs they have. He has his little chicken spurs on. I'm going to actually kind of blend this up here. And let's start putting in some feathers for him. Thanks, feathers. He can't be naked. Well, naked chicken. That's not going to be good. There's one my hairs. I'm going to leave some white. We'll take these feathers right up the middle. We are just having fun with the alcohol ink. I don't even know if anybody asked in the story for chicken. <laughs> I don't know. But I like to paint out with alcohol ink. I like to paint with puddles that are already there. And look, this color is naturally fading as we go up. We're going to let the very top part of this as light as we can manage. Oh, 
Moving over here so you can see his head. I'm working on. I think he's looking adorable. What do you think, Peggy? Oh, he's cute. I think he's ready to go. This is alcohol inks that I'm using. Marabou. Marabou alcohol inks. I want to get in there and grab some of that red off of his top part. But I want to kind of put a little bit more of this. This is my, this is all dry. This is all done. Nothing else is moving on here. So alcohol ink, this will not come off with water. This is how we have to do alcohol ink. Maggie, your little jar back there, is that empty? What's in that, do you think? It's water, just water. Could we pour it into that bottle? So, to clean. Oh no, it's not water. It's turpent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sniff oh, it. <laughs> it's turpentine. It's <laughs> um, I we actually we sell these. Don't that. We sell these things. It's Maribel. I'm an I'm an artist educator for Maribel, but the link that's in our Amazon, you can get these on Amazon. I sell them too. I could sell them too. If I was it's home. in my lungs. That's like a Carlos honey. Okay, I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cause I'm just too lazy to go get a little dish. I'm not gonna lie, honey, to my. Oh, Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Poor Maggie. Oh, that was so bad. So that was so gross. Uh, I, I see. I had, a, I, I had a feeling. That's why I sniffed it. I went. Oh. I did a deep sniff. Maggie has taught oh, us a valuable lesson. Never sniff it. Oh, God. Oh, God. It like burns my throat. <laughs> Angelia says, don't be I E. Don't do that. So <laughs> I'm going to hold this because look, I'm getting okay. some, I'm getting some um, movement here because I've added the alcohol. Now watch this. Watch this when I do this. I'll start to get some cool, cool, cool stuff happening here. We want some cool, cool, cool stuff happening on our bird. Not all over. Just a little bit. I like the variations in his feathers. Honey, I'm going to have to write a story about this little man. I'm going to call him Turpentine. Really? <laughs> I shouldn't die. <laughs> I used to name him Turpentine. Hey, Jamie. His hair looks like my, my throat right His, now after snooping that. That's how Maggie feels after smelling Turpentine. So now I have this flowing again. I can come up that's here. What the that's what I look like right now. Just like, <laughs> that's what it did to me. Oh, babe. Uh, we're just going to dot a little bit up there, but let that nice and light. So now here, I'm going to take this and I don't like have a creature just floating so I'm gonna just take this to get work this out of my brush I'm gonna just and I'm not Maggie I'm not gonna play with the shadow <laughs> I'm not gonna do a shadow that looks like an avocado for him although he's kind of shaped like an avocado I just oh want him God, to have some, <laughs> I just want him to have some um, he just needs a little bit of land to stand on. And I, I really kind of want to go into his hair. <sighs> this, this is just a fun little chicken. I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm saying turpentine, but that's because Maggie just smelled it. This is, this is uh, isopropyl alcohol. It smells so much better than <laughs> turpentine. And it doesn't smell good. So no. It's like nail polishy but yes man it's so much better than turpentine. do not <laughs> i'm just turpentine. i'm just touching his wing a little bit with this with this non-turpentine <laughs> <laughs> oh our <laughs> it's so bad Hi. i still feel it i seriously like inhale that stuff why did you do you used to it no <laughs> i've taken blood pressure no, medicine baby. no I'll yeah, take a little sniff. 
oh honey why? yeah it's strong it's isn't it different. why aren't you using that no what was the stuff i got you <laughs> it's right there that's but naughty this is before this is before this is okay strengthening this jar <laughs> This I'm, is what the jar looks like. Man can just sniff that turpentine. Oh, it's so gross. Babe. I thought it was water. <laughs> okay. We're gonna we're gonna put him in a in a farmyard. You know what this man does. I'm gonna take I'm gonna let this isopropyl alcohol there. And I'm gonna take some of this green I have. Put a little horizon action going back there. I'm spreading some green on. If you haven't tried painting with alcohol ink yet, I highly recommend it because it's like really pigmented and beautiful. Okay. Now, if Maggie, if we were up in Grandma's studio, I have spray bottles all over the joint with this stuff in it. <laughs> they can, yeah. pss, pss, they can spritz it up, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna go in here, grab my alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let some little white bits back in there. I'm going to maybe make some upstrokes. Oh, somebody did something. Bump. Can you see what happened? I don't know, but I heard a little noise. I, don't know, I think somebody hit a lot of likes or something. So I don't want to touch him because as watercolor paints would run, this stuff would bloom so leave some space and now that i know what side of the painting or what what side of the paper to paint on as soon as i'm done getting him sorted i might start on the might start on the the next our little cat story. Oh, I should make that like a crop of corn. He's going to go back in there and eat it. Maggie, he's going to go eat the corn. Mm -hmm. So unlike watercolor paints, if I let this dry and come back to it with isopropyl alcohol, it just makes it all flow again. See that? What do you mean unlike well, watercolor can grab a hold of the paper if it's True. real pigmented, and then it's hard to get it to move around. Yeah. Watercolor can do that. You're right. You can get it completely like white again. Uh huh. If it's if it's not dried solid, but when it dries solid, it's a bear to try to move. Just a little bit closer, but I don't want to mess up his. I don't want to mess up his foot. But look here. Look, we can just start painting. Start painting little things up around there. Just by making your brush wet with uh, isopropyl alcohol. And down here we have these dried ones. I can come in. Rub over, rub over where I want it to be flowing, and um, I can even drip some more. This is photographic paper. I have a story about this little guy. Not sure what yet. But we are going to make a story up with him. I'm going to make some little, little plants. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure what kind of these are these could be little corn stalks I don't know but see how our see how we just took our this is important to look at see their horizon the dark line in the horizon if you go over this this is going to be in the foreground go over it a couple times it'll make whatever's behind it it'll make it disappear look we just painted that line right out the horizon is no longer an issue i'm just going to put some little colors here and I'm going to put something on here um, called the extender. It, this is kind of like al or it's kind of like isopropyl alcohol, but it is it's specifically made to bring this back to life. Mm, sprinkle generously on there. I want to try to catch this so you can see. Like how that works and I just want to see look there see you let it on for a minute it starts to flow I should have a bigger brush this brush is it's a little one I don't need one honey I'm just gonna oh I thought you were oh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick I'm with this one. Than I, am. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> Oh, Maggie's, Maggie's writing a story. I might make something down here. I do sleep. It's 11.17. And I didn't even have a nap today. Did, did I, Maggie? Is that a cheat? <laughs> yeah. There's one of Grandma's from my haircut. Maggie, Maggie thinned my hair out so good. Oh, my gosh. My head feels amazing. I'm just going to put some texture in here. Scooby-dooby-doo. I don't know if Pa's still here. Pa might be asleep now. So I have some extender on here. I'm going to go with some more green. I'm getting crazy here. I have, do I have a yellow? I have tangerine. So, tangerine and green will make brown. Oh, Pa's not sleeping. Pa, what do you think? You liking him? Like our little man? I'm, I want to mix this up because I don't want that orange feel on his head. Just kind of want to let all this flow, flow together. Now down here, down here. I love that color. I'm going to just try to do some painting, kind of sideways painting. And then pull things up. I'm just going to pull up and make some little clumps. Come back in a little bit closer to his foot. Actually, I'm going to take some of that darker. Go right up there. <laughs> Angelia, you could be right. You could be right. Martin could well have been sleeping. <laughs> sleeping, not me. And we're just start at the bottom, flip up, flip, flip, flick, flick, flick. You can use thinner brushes, thicker brushes. You can do dibble dabs. You can look, you can roll your brush. You can slide your brush. There's no right or wrong way to do the alcohol inks. I'm loving how he's looking though. 
He's super cute. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this for the title of him. Let's turn this into a proper little book, honey. Let's write a proper little book. What could the title of this book be? <laughs> Turpentine, the dead chicken. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He's a Bach super chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna just put a little bit down here. I'm gonna put just a little bit up here. A little bit of the darker up there. Chirpentine is good. Chirpentine. That's really sandy. good. Sandy, you get a gold star. Chirpentine is a great name for him. Um, you People know how, understand the yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, the turpentine. But chirpentine, chirpentine is good. Um, but you know what I was thinking? The um, uh, oh darn it, I just lost that train of thought. <laughs> Oh, when that happens, I'm going to just put some little feels down here. Just some little feels. Um, Maggie, what was I thinking? <laughs> Read my mind, honey. What was Grandma thinking? About what? About this. What you were going to say? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I know, but not right now. Uh, I lost my mind over chip and time. <laughs> what was I going to say? So that's really dry now, so I can get up a little bit closer to it. Turban time, the church, the church chick. That is, um, this is the, the, what I'm painting on is, um, photo paper, high gloss photo paper right there. And I did an accidental chicken. <laughs> I know most chickens aren't accidental, but he is. He's a little accidental chicken. I was just testing my paper. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a storyboard with that, but I think I think I should write a little short story about this guy. I gotta think about it. Okay, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make some flowers. And hi everybody, if you're not following yet, please do. Thank you for all the likes. Three point seven thousand likes. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna make a little flower up here. Let's see what colors I have. I have purple. <laughs> I do love them purple. And I have amethyst, I think that. I think we should do the flowers purple. And I think, is this a boy or a girl chicken? I don't know. He's a man. He's a man? Yeah, okay. look at him. All right, he's a man. Obviously he's a man. Mm -hmm. Look at him. All right. I'm not using a paintbrush right now, as you can tell.
think maybe, yeah, this could be, this could, I could incorporate this into the story because somebody had said vegetable garden, somebody had said garden. So we could, I could definitely make some carrots happen right in here. I could do that. Let's do one carrot, two carrots, three carrots. Three carrots. And let's go with some a different shade of green. <laughs> the cat is wanting to make chicken gravy for the biscuits. <laughs> I'm not going to link all the stories together, honey. I'm going to have to have more than one story. Let's find a good, oh, this is good. This apple for the carrot tops, that'll be good. That will be good. I kind of want to let these dry just a little bit and I kind of want to pull them down just a little bit so they're sticking out of the ground. Just the carrot tops. And look, by painting this, it's like I erase and incorporate all the color that's behind here. I incorporate that all into this. So now look, the grass behind disappears. The grass disappears and we're just left with a carrot. This could be the odd chicken who actually grows a garden. This chicken could grow a garden, Maggie. He doesn't eat what's in it. Amazing. <laughs> Maggie, he doesn't eat what's in it because guess what he eats? Mm. Only bugs. <laughs> so he grows the vegetables to lure the bugs in <laughs> and then he eats them you think maybe i think he might he looks clever don't let that crazy hairdo fool you you could maybe do that so you have a little bit of time to play with these inks and then you could go like this, make it feel like carrots. But the ink is going to fill, the alcohol inks, this will fill back in. They'll close. So you kind of got to keep futzing with them. Kind of got to keep futzing with these. A little futzing. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. You have a little bit of time. You have a little bit of time to work it. And thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for following. Thanks for hanging out. See them paint these lines in, and then they'll disappear. The carrot color came out. Yeah. The carrot color I love. And I think I'll let it like that because it'll put, yeah, except he's a vegetarian. Yes. It's, it's, yeah. The link for the ink, the link for the ink is in the Amazon link. <laughs> I think. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Marabou alcohol inks. And click on our Amazon link in the bio and you will find them. I have them at home in my studio too. I used to sell them to people in person when I had in-person workshops. Okay, so this is Apple. And I want to come up here. And I want to do a... I want to do a carrot top. Oh gosh, this sink is dodgy. There it comes. Wait, this might be closed. This this one's closed. Could I get a pin, my love? So these, the tops of these are so cool. 
but you have to poke a pin in to open them. Oh gosh, I gotta set my phone down. I don't want to spill this. Oh, it's it's coming up already. Look, it might be open enough. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, now this is light, but what if you've ever seen a carrot top? They are wispy and it's okay if we see a little bit through them. But this is a great way to show you what's gonna happen here. You're gonna love this. Babe, here's that pin back. Thank you, my love. So now, just as we did with the horizon, oh, and I got orange in here, dang it. That's okay. I'm gonna rub, I'm gonna rub dub dub. I'm gonna distribute my orange. <laughs> I'll rub a dub dub and we will get our, get our little wispy carrot tops going. Might have to put some more green in there. And see, by doing this, it disappears what was behind it. The alcohol has reactivated the ink behind there. So we can take it right out. It's awesome. Painting with alcohol inks, when you go a couple layers, it's so cool. It's super cool. I love it. That one's a little too orangey for me. So I'm gonna paint it. And then I'll come back with more green. More of that pretty apple green. Jackie, you have a good evening too. I'll keep you posted on a little, little uh, chirping time. <laughs> Turpentine, the gardening chicken. Gardening church chicken. I'm going to cover up some of that orange now. Come on, you. Get. I didn't poke it the whole way down. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that dry. Uh, Posca pens. Yes, Maggie. We love them, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yep. So here, I this sort of just made a little natural top on here. But I'm gonna come down here now and just sort of touch by the soil. To feel like where the earth, where it's going into the earth. And I'm going to let this dry before I come back in there with green. I have this cool color on here. I'm just going to put some weirdo little dab dabs all over. Who knows what they are. I'm gonna put some other well yeah green. Darken that a whole bit. I think somebody asked in the story for a mushroom. I think they did. It could be a mushroom. This could be a triple mushroom. You guys know these words. Yeah. I'm 
You get a lot of a lot from the story in this one. Come back in here. Pick up some of that color back here. Maybe like a little road going way back there. Um, mushroom cap will be red. I'm thinking turpentine <laughs> Well, turpentine. Maggie, how are you feeling after the turpentine? Sick. Oh gosh, honey. No, I, I'm okay. Oh, right now. Oops. See how it makes like a natural, it gives like a natural edge. I'm going to tell you what, when you start painting with alcohol inks and not just blowing them around paper, you're going to love it. I might do some alcohol ink stuff in France, babe. It might be something that, you know, like people don't know that they'll, yeah. It's so vibrant. This color is so vibrant. Okay, now I need to pour a little bit more of this isopropyl alcohol. Just a little bit. That's a lot. I'm gonna take my brush. Feels going back in here. I got a lot of white spots. I'm going to fill these little white spots in. I'm just going to dab these. I'm just going to dab these little white spots. It might be soil. Because I have a whole lot of color on here. But I'm not going to mess with anything that's like a prominent set thing, you know, like my carrots and carrots and my flowers. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy sent lightning. What do we do for that as a robot? Boom! Crash! Boom! Boom. Lightning! <laughs> Thank you, Tracy, for the lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie got shot from the lightning bolt. <sighs> okay, I'm going to take this because down here, I want to put, I'm going to put my name down here. So I don't want to have it super dark, but I also don't want to have it white. And see what I'm doing? I'm just tapping. Just the, as you're tapping the screen to send your likes and thank you. <laughs> See how I did that, Maggie? Good marketing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, just tapping that. Tappy tap, 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 tap. I just want to get rid of the white stuff. Over here, I got some, just do some little taps in there. Mushroom. Now, this is a cool thing to see that I'm going to do right now. I spilled some of that here. Look, it'll evaporate. Look at it. Look at it evaporating. Isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to wipe it up quick. <laughs> it's great for cleaning, too. So this is what I like to do to take paint off because I'm going to paint three mushrooms here. So we're going to dip in here, dip, and then I'm going to paint my mushroom shape right here. I'll paint that. I'll tap that color off here. I can actually get a rag or we'll be here all night. Get a rag here and wipe it on here. Back in here. I'm going to paint some more of it off. I'm going to come in here and dab. I'm going to dab a little mushroom shape. 
Right there. Oh, Maggie, look at that. Little mushroom shape. Little mushroom shape. Can you see it? Can you see the mushroom shape? I see it. I'm going to take that stem away. Now I'm going to come back in here and get more. And go in there and really clean it up. Really clean it up. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Thanks for being here. Thanks for following. Thanks for your gifties. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the ideas. I'm going to put that little dab it right Oh, look at, oh, that just came out really good. It'll get better. It'll get better. Oh, Maggie, look at the mushroom. Look at it. Mm. Isn't that looking so cool? Yeah. That mushroom is looking so cool. I should have had, I should have gone darker in the background um, to do these, to do these mushrooms. So here I'm going to paint this one in. I'll go up in this high with it. I'm going to paint it in. And again, if you have not, if you have not painted with alcohol ink, if you have only blown it around a tile or a piece of glass, that's great and wonderful. But I highly suggest painting with it. I have all kinds of tricks I can teach you for the alcoholic. Are you ready for bed? Okay. We'll be right out, Dad. Sorry. Let me finish up. We got a late start crafting, didn't we, honey? And yeah. arting. We'll finish this mushroom. Oh, we have been out for an hour. So I'm loosening up all the alcohol ink that we have on here. And I want to create the bottom of a mushroom. See how it's just coming in there? Take some more. Yep, Angelia, it's only quarter till nine. You see it later. <laughs> I love the, I was going to do red mushrooms. I thought these are so much better. Now we're just dab the mushroom off. These, these are like glowing. I'm going to go around it with the darker color of grass. So they really, really, really pop. Really pop. And this one is going to, you can see the little gills. I'll put the little gills on there too. Little gills on the mushroom. The mushrooms are looking super cool. Yay. Oh, hey, it's Donna. I'm glad you're here. And your friend is so lovely recommending an empathy. Thank you, seeing the artwork's beautiful. Happy you're here. I'm going to make our last mushroom and then sadly we got, <laughs> we got to go to bed, don't we, Maggie? Mm -hmm. Dang. <laughs> Grandma has a bedtime too, I guess. So see how, see how when we dilute this alcohol ink with the isopropyl alcohol, it turns it into the coolest mushroom. We're going to put more elements on here, too, from words that you put in for the story. This is going to be a wonderful story. Martin has a bedtime. Martin, are you still awake? <laughs> Look at how, can you see how they glow? I'm going to turn this one low light off, and I think you'll be able to see it better. 
And again, he had arms as long as a ballerina's. Can you read it? I'm sorry. Look at the mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Martin, how do you like the mushrooms? Aren't they looking so cool? Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Dab. Dab. Ah, oh. okay. All right, now I still have some, some of this left in here. So I'm gonna take this and just sort of dab to blend. I'm gonna dab to blend. <laughs> Don't the mushrooms look so neat? And I can do this. Oh, bless you, babe. I'm gonna put a little bit on here subtract some of this off Jamie you if you haven't tried alcohol inks you should try them you'd be really good at them Jamie is a mega artist Your cat meow because Maggie sneezed. <laughs> That's cute. Your cat said, bless you. What's your kitty's name? I'm just subtracting a little bit of this off. I think we'll make this mushroom stem come down just a little bit longer and funkier. with vertigo arts on a hold oh my gosh jamie oh maggie angelia's cat is named mishy oh I is, so is it mishy or mishy how would you say it honey mishy i'd say mishy that's beautiful oops i'm not even showing you yeah the vertigo is so bad it is not fun. I'm just going to dab in some some of these little dots of the alcohol just because I want to get it off of out of here. Mishi. Oh, adorable. That's a sweet name. Jamie, I hope you start feeling better. I'm going to come back here. We'll do some mountain feels in the distance. Far, far away. Because we're going to have to put a sky back there, too. Good night, everybody. I'm Good going night. To Give bed. Grandma her kiss. I love you. Love you, honey. Thank you for being my bestest girl. And for the haircut. You look so cute. Mm -hmm. You did a great job. Use some turquoise would look great. Bye bye. Good night, my love. I'll be right in. I think I gotta stop there. I want to keep going, <laughs> but that's where we are. That is where we are now. This stuff here. I have to cover the lid up, but if I pour that back in, the color will be contaminated. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna dry this out of here. And then I'm gonna close this up. So tomorrow when we come out to art before 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> I will be able to um, do some stuff. So here I have a little bit on it. I'm just going to use that to kind of magic eraser some of that stuff off. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving that little man. we got to come up with a name. I'm going to make a little TikTok right now. 
will come up with a little man or a little name and I'll make a these are all the words that I do. I'm, I'm going to do the storyboard for the cat that likes to make biscuits with murder mittens. But we have a lot of, um, look, fairies in an herb garden house. We could totally put, I could put like up on a bird post up here, a little herb garden up here and put fairies up in there. <laughs> Tina Turner, yeah. We, there's a lot of great things. We have uh, vegetable gardens. We could put a hummingbird or two in there. Oh, there's a lot. I'm going to flip this around. And see, 99. Oh, somebody followed. PGISD 2000. Thanks for following. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, my goodness. Right here. Maggie said I would look cute with bangs. I'm going with it. Martin, this is my haircut. This is my haircut. I gotta, I, it, it dried. And I gotta put something in it, I think. I like it. I haven't had bangs since I was 14. <laughs> but I did, I did say I want to start aging backwards. So I'm going to jump off and go to bed. Um, look, notice the resemblance. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and we'll finish, we'll finish this tomorrow. And we will also, I'll, I'll be thinking about our story tonight for the cat with the little making, making biscuits. You know what? Oh my gosh. You know what I just thought? Oh, I bet you we can tie this all together. I bet we can tie everything together except deep sorrow traders. <laughs> and uh, there were some other words that were um, money is the root of all evil. I can tie that in. Um, two, bit, two days in bed for no reason. Retirement blues. Uh-uh. How can you ever have retirement blues? Married but alone. That's sad. That's a sad one right there. Um, even though Morton is a thousand miles away right now, I still feel like he's right here asking me why I got my hair cut. <laughs> so I'm going to jump off, go to bed. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the lights and all the presents. Good night, everybody. Good night, sweet Morton. Let's do this again tomorrow. Oh, I'm not going to be able to in the morning because my sister should be home right now. We have plans for not sure how long so i will see you tomorrow nighty night bye